The Foundations of Geometry by David Hilbert. Chapter 3 The Theory of Proportion. Section 13 Complex Number Systems. At the beginning of this chapter, we shall present briefly certain preliminary ideas concerning complex number systems, which will later be of service to us in our discussion. The real numbers form, in their totality, a system of things having the following properties. Theorems of Connection 1 through 12. 1. From the number A and the number B, there is obtained by addition a definite number C, which we express by writing A plus B equals C, or C is equal to A plus B. 2. There exists a definite number, which we call 0, such that for every number A, we have A plus 0 equals A, and 0 plus A equals A. 3. If A and B are two given numbers, there exists one and only one number X, and also one and only one number Y, such that we have respectively A plus X equals B and Y plus A equals B. 4. From the number A and the number B, there may be obtained in another way, namely by multiplication, a definite number C, which we express by writing AB equals C, or C equals AB. 5. There exists a definite number called 1, such that for every number A, we have A times 1 equals A, and 1 times A equals A. 6. If A and B are any arbitrarily given numbers, where A is different from 0, then there exists one and only one number X, and also one and only one number Y, such that we have respectively AX equals B and YA equals B. If A, B, and C are arbitrary numbers, the following laws of operation always hold. 7. A plus the quantity B plus C equals the quantity A plus B plus C. 8. A plus B is equal to B plus A. 9. A times the quantity BC equals the quantity AB times C. 10. A times the quantity B plus C equals AB plus AC. 11. The quantity A plus B times C equals AC plus BC. 12. AB equals BA. Theorems of Order 13 through 16. 13. If A and B are any two distinct numbers, one of these, say A, is always greater than the other. The other number is said to be the smaller of the two, and we express this relation by writing A greater than B and B less than A. 14. If A is greater than B and B is greater than C, then is also A greater than C. 15. If A is greater than B, then is also A plus C greater than B plus C, and C plus A is greater than C plus B. 16. If A is greater than B and C greater than 0, then is also AC greater than BC and CA greater than CB. Theorem of Archimedes 17. 17. If A, B are any two arbitrary numbers such that A is greater than 0 and B is greater than 0, it is always possible to add A to itself a sufficient number of times so that the resulting sum shall have the property that A plus A plus A plus dot 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 A is greater than B. A system of things possessing only a portion of the above properties, 1 through 17, is called a complex number system, or simply a number system. A number system is called Archimedean or non-Archimedean according as it does or does not satisfy condition 17. Not every one of the properties 1 through 17 given above is independent of the others. The problem arises to investigate the logical dependence of these properties. Because of their great importance in geometry, we shall, in sections 32, 33, pages 65 through 68, answer two definite questions of this character. 
we will here merely call attention to the fact that, in any case, the last of these conditions, 17, is not a consequence of the remaining properties. Since, for example, the complex number system, omega t, considered in section 12, possesses all of the properties, 1 through 16, but does not fulfill the law stated in 17. The Foundations of Geometry by David Hilbert the material contained in the following translation was given in substance by Professor Hilbert as a course of lectures on Euclidean geometry at the University of Göttingen during the winter semester of 1898 and 1899. It was translated by E. J. Townsend, Ph.D., University of Illinois. The text was downloaded from Project Gutenberg with the following notice. This ebook is for the use of anyone anywhere in the United States and most other parts of the world at no cost and with almost no restrictions whatsoever. Read by Jim Renholt. Programming and illustrations by Jim Renholt. 2019. Portrait of David Hilbert by Rita Ray Renholt. Thank you for listening.